good morning everyone welcome to today's video and this is orange technology and in today's video i am going to be um, providing alternative to the rss feed um, we all know that opoc has removed the rss feed and i'm presently on i am presently on reddit where people are complaining for example, um, if you look at this post, you would see someone already wrote, why is Opoc removing the RSS feed? Um, this makes it easier to find and respond to jobs. Of course, removing them makes it harder for freelancers to find jobs. Mm -hmm. And then some words I'm not going to be saying. So um, there are different reply. And um, the first reply is, are there anti-human BOTs running OPOC management? And then um, there are also other replies where people are complaining. So um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you other alternatives to RSS feeds. So firstly, what you want to do is you want to download Telegram on your laptop. Uh, if you already have Telegram on your phone, you can easily go on telegram and then search zephal opoc bot so um, you're going to be seeing something like this and then when you click on it you're obviously i have already started using it i've been getting notification for jobs on opoc so um once you make the search uh if you're if you're searching it for the first time you would see um z file up for bot and then you're basically going to click on it and then you're going to be um setting up your preference on the type of jobs you want to you i mean you obviously want so firstly you want to go to the menu and then you click on new feed since it's going to be your first time so um, you can click on create new feed and then um for example, if you're a data analyst, you want to create a data analyst. Um, you want to create a data analyst field. Data analyst. And if you're also a software engineer, you can easily just name your field software engineer. But, uh, I am a data analyst, so I'm going to be choosing data analyst. And then there are other options. So for example, I would advise you to put it in a street mode. So basically the street mode help you almost perfectly tailor your preference to get the exact job you want. So um, you can also set the job title prefix data analyst. And then you can use various hashtags. So basically these hashtags are like keywords that comes with the type of job you want. So um, obviously I would want to also use data analysts and then also I can do data entry. Also I can also do data science. Then we want to move to mute field. So um, if you don't want to be bothered with notification on Telegram, you can decide to mute the field. But um, obviously you want to get your um, Telegram making some sounds. So you I'll basically leave this unmuted. And the webhook, I'm not really familiar with the webhook, but um, if you're familiar with the webhook, you can, you can use a webhook. So also you want to type your preference for budget. On Opoc, they are both fixed and hourly budgets. So if you want both of them, you can keep both of them. But if you want hourly rates, you can select hourly rate or you can select a fixed budget. So I'm going to put it in both fixed and hourly. So um, for example, if you want um, to put the minimum wage, you can decide to put $11 or um, probably $15. But also, I would want to leave that empty because I don't want to really restrict the notification that I'm getting. Also, you can decide that, okay, um, the maximum hourly rate for jobs I want to get is $60. Uh, and then um, you can also 
decide on the type of fixed budgets there are some upwork jobs that comes with ten dollars budget but let's say i want something around the lowest should be um, hundred dollars and then the maximum should be one thousand dollars fixed budget but again i wouldn't want to restrict the notifications i'm getting so also we can decide to set our preference for job attributes so uh, we can decide to also call this data analysis so we have data analysis and testing um i want to believe we have data science so there's no data science so i'll just leave data analysis and testing we can decide to choose the look the local markets where the jobs are coming from i presently reside in the united kingdom so i can decide to pick united kingdom and i can also decide to pick um, united states but for now i'm not going to be restricting i want to get jobs from different markets from saudi arabia from dubai and all so experience level you can decide if you're an entry um if you just started um being if you just started um being a data analyst you can decide to pick entry level you can if you feel like you're you have more graphs on data analytics you can decide to choose intermediate or you can decide to um, pick intermediate and expert so i'm also not going to be restricting myself i'm going to be um, leaving my options wide open so um hours per week um, there are some jobs that I'll provide their preferences on the number of hours they want their freelancers to work so you can decide to pick um, less than 30 hours or you can also decide to pick more than 30 hours again i don't want to limit myself i want to get jobs both less than 30 hours and also more than 30 hours require skill i can say um, okay data entry skills i can also um, decide to be data analysis skills um sorry about that data analysis of course there's also data analytics So also, I don't want to restrict my skills. I also want to leave my option open. So I'm going to um, leave require skills open. Um, excluded skills, you can decide to exclude some skills. Let's say software engineering. Software engineering. Or let's say software QA. So um, yes, yeah, since I'm not a software engineer, I mean, or I'm not a QA engineer, I can decide to restrict the skills also i want to go ahead and pick jobs with the minimum number of connects for bid let's say i don't want to be spending a lot of time i mean a lot of connects on bid i can decide to minimize this to seven connect or um, maximize and then say oh, okay anything more than 10 bits so basically um i want jobs between seven and ten connects uh, i've obviously sent some jobs that require you to bid 22 connect but um, yeah, I have a lot of connects that I want to spend on, on jobs. I can um, decide to not limit myself. So um, there are other extra features you can pick. Also, you have the keywords and some other conditions. Um, then the client rating is also very important. You want to um, pick clients with a very good rating. So I want my client to have at least 4.5 rating. Also, uh, minimum reviews if you decide to um, pick minimum reviews i'm going to leave my option wide open then preferred client locations i can also pick any locations across the world to i mean where i want my clients to come from um these are very good filters so it, all these filters basically um minimize the type of notification you get and then um kind of help you tailor your notifications to your job preferences so um there are some client that has poor hiring rate i want to also increase my hiring. i mean the hiring rate um let's put it at 90 percent um i think i should be fine with all this um i think um i'm good with all the filters i have picked and then i can save the field and then um i'm supposed to start getting jobs from this particular filters that i've created so basically um if you want to start getting notification on from upwork you can go on 
telegram and then search this bot zenfield or bulk bot um you're supposed to use it for free for for your first two weeks and then um, i think um, you're able to also increase your free period to another two weeks so you basically you have like a one month free period and then at some point it will require you to pay um a fee of 9.99 dollars that should be between around six pounds or seven pounds if you live um in the uk so um that is all for now and um, if you enjoyed this video please um subscribe to orange technologies and then please like this video thank you very much and then see you some other time